and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I am doing kind of an impromptu video. So I have this new set from Kelly Bangs over at Illustrated Faith and it is all about the armor of God and she has these wonderful kind of mini devotionals talking about the different parts of the armor of God and it is in this beautiful tag set that I am loving and I love the armor of God. It was actually one of the first parts of the Bible that I was um, introduced to, um, Ephesians 6, 10 through 17. And so it has made a big impact on my life. And for me, it's something that I think is um, really important to kind of pray through and pray over. So I wanted to make some prayer tags. And so I started out by making one and then I thought, I'm just gonna turn on the camera and make some more and show you guys how I'm doing this. So this one is about the sword of the spirit. So I have the tag right here. I have pulled out my Felicity Jane uh, scraps and you can see this is my folder of Felicity Jane scraps and these are all my ones that I've pulled out so far. And I attached the tag and then on the back, I created a little pocket to where I can insert prayers. And so I thought I would turn on the camera, show you guys how I did this, work through a few of these tags and just kind of share. So I will make sure to link everything I use down below. Um, you can pick up Kelly Bang's new set over in the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop. All right, let's go. Okay, on a side note, as we get started here, I am trying a new filming setup. I am filming in my newly transformed craft closet as part of my craft room and it allows me to stand while I work, which I really like at times. And I thought the butcher block background was really pretty. So you'll have to let me know what you think of filming on this new surface. If you like it, if you miss the white, just let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. This project turned out to be a tremendous stash buster. It was awesome to be able to go through these scraps. I love my Felic Felicity Jane paper, and so I try to save all the little bits, and the bright summer colors that I've had from past kits really matched well with Kelly's tags that she had designed. So basically what I'm doing is I'm adding a block of paper to the bottom of each tag and then on the back of the tag I am creating pockets. I end up creating pockets in several different ways and I'm just using bits and pieces of paper in order to create a pocket. It's super easy. All you have to do is just put the adhesive on three sides. So I left the back or the top back open so that you could slip in a smaller tag. And you'll see I'm going to do something a little bit different right here. I'm tracing one of the larger tags that I have made. And this one is going to open like a folder and it will have two pockets on the inside. So all I'm doing is tracing the two tags right next to each other. I will end up trimming those out very carefully. This is just a real rough trim. The thing is I could have gotten out my paper trimmer and done all that. But this is one of those projects. It's using scraps. I'm just playing with scissors and having fun. So I'm not really worried about how perfect everything ends up. So trimming out my two tags that are kind of attached to each other, sharing one side. You'll see me cut down the middle right here, cut out this little section. And then I will end up pulling out my scoring board to score down the middle of this tag set right here. That way it folds like a card. And then I will attach the tag on the front of the card, trimming and making sure it all matches up really nicely right here. Just doing my best to make it look all even, just eyeballing it basically. I'll attach the tag to the front of it. And then in the middle, I will um, be able to open it up and I'm going to create a pocket folder. And I'll show you that in just a second. And this is one of the reasons why this is such a good project for your scraps because you can use pages of any size. You see how odd size this little scrap was, but it works out really well to create the pocket. Again, what you wanna do if you're gonna create a pocket is you put the adhesive on three sides. So I'm putting it on the side, down across the bottom, and then up the other side. Then for this particular one, I'm also gonna put it in the middle, right where the fold is and then I place my pocket on there and press down, seal down. As I close it, then um, I'll have to reseal just to make sure you can see there. 
doesn't quite match up. So I pressed down and it is a perfect little opening folder. And I like this style of pocket because it's a little bit more secret. Those pairs are going to be closed up when it's in the ring. And so um, you won't be able to access them quite as easily there. Okay, now that I've sped it up, you're going to see me make a lot of these tags as I go through all of these beautiful ones that Kelly Bangs designed. And I was so excited for this set. Like I said in the intro, um, studying Ephesians was one of the first Bible studies that I participated in. When I was in middle school, I um, joined Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and it was led by one of my basketball coaches. And we went through the armor of God as our study, and I remember it being really impactful. And I came from a family that um, believed and we were Christians, but we didn't go to church a lot. We didn't spend a lot of time Bible studying. And so it was impactful for me to really get into the word for the first time. And so those verses will always, you know, be close to my heart. And so I was super excited to have this opportunity to work with those same verses, to have a way to study them again, to read some of this devotional content and um, just to reinvigorate that part of my life and to remember one of the first really impactful moments of my Christian life. You could see for that tag that I actually used some of the branding um, strips from Felicity Jane. That's kind of the, the piece of paper that goes in the front of the set of paper that you get it each month that's supposed to give you the preview, but it's fabulous for using for different things for Bible journaling, especially because you can punch tabs out of it, all kinds of great things. So I was able to use that in this project as well. Now my tag collection is growing. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me make all these tags. I do end up making some shorter ones because again, I'm trying to use the scraps that I have pulled out. This um, larger tag was from a project that I was working on at some point where I made a bunch of these larger tags and I ended up not using that one. So you can see I'm able to fit two of Kelly's tags on here and then I can just cut them out. They're kind of like little mini tags. It makes it interesting on the ring to have some different sizes so they're not all perfectly sized. And you'll see in a moment, I'm going to take them over to my sewing machine and I'm going to use my sewing machine to add stitching. I'm not the best with the stitching. It's all kind of wonky in some places, but I like the effect in all honesty because A, it reminds me of just how I am with the sewing machine and I think it looks really handmade and I like that look. So I'll end up um, adding stitching to these and that also gives it just more texture and more interest as you're flipping through the tag prayer ring. You see my pile of tags up there at the top. They've gone through the sewing machine through various states, various kinds of stitches just to add some texture. This is the actual verses in Ephesians that are typed out and I'm going to mat them to be um, at the front of my tag ring. So I'm just putting them on this piece of paper and then I will add the hole punch. And what I end up doing is I have all of these trims, different pom-pom trims that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to use them to embellish my cart. So as I go through, I always use the same method for trims. I'm going to use the tape runner and liquid glue. So the tape runner holds it in place while the liquid glue is drying and that way it will, um, it'll be strong and hold in place. So I'm going to, I have all my pom poms pulled out here and I will add it sometimes just on the front, sometimes on the front and the back. Um, some of the pom-poms spray a little bit at the edge. I can go back with a hot glue gun and kind of seal those up just to make sure that they won't continue to fray, but I'll probably do that at a later time. So again, the sticky tape and then the liquid glue, that way it'll be a really strong hold. I love the texture. When you are making a tag ring or something like a mini album where you're gonna be flipping through it, texture is really important and it's really inviting and interesting to look at. And because this is an interactive tag ring, especially because there's all these pockets where I'll be able to include small tags and prayers and things like that, then I do want it to be inviting to the touch. So that's why I like adding these little bits. Eventually I go back um, on here and I use some of the small ephemera pieces that Kelly developed to go with this line and I add those just as extra um, 
little flare and I also add some black circles around all the hole punches just to make it look a little bit more uniform to strengthen where those holes are punched through the cards just so that I know it'll hold up um, as I'm working with this because like I said this is going to be a tag ring that I'm using that I'm praying with that I'm adding to and so I wanted it to be nice and strong. I'll be honest, this project ended up taking me a little bit longer than I had intended, but I had so much fun. This is, I'm, I'm obsessed with how my tag ring came out and you'll see it in just a second, but this was a lot of fun to work on. It was so fun to add the flare and to play with scraps of paper that I love. So I highly recommend giving it a try. Okay, you guys, here is my final tag ring. I'm so excited. I just want to do a little flip through. It starts with my uh, warrior here in her, um, all her armor and it has Ephesians 6, 10 through 17 on the back for reference. And then I have all of my tags and most of them have an extra little tag in the back, some sort of pocket that I can then write prayer requests in. This one has a little envelope inside of it that I can fill in. And of course you can add more, change them out. But I love how it came out. Each tag is a little bit different, but they all have kind of the same formula with the trim and just the addition of the scrap paper. This was a fabulous way to bust my stash and to make something that I am going to treasure and love for a long time. See how cute all of those ended up. I love these that open. It's kind of a more secret prayer. This one right here. And I have a few of the word fetty pieces. This one sticks in the side right here. I have some word fetty pieces that I can use to expand and add on more if I would like to do. So I had a few of these little file folders that I thought were super cute. You might have some of those left over from um, a previous devotional from Illustrated Faith. I had mine from Felicity Jane, but those are great to add in right there. And almost done. And then my very last one here in the back has another file folder right here that I can add on. So I am super excited about my tag ring. Let me know if you end up picking up this set from Kelly Bangs. I love it, it's super cute. Like I said, this is kind of a meaningful, um, piece of scripture for me because it's one of the first pieces of scriptures that I studied when I was in middle school. So um, it really means a lot to me. All right. I will make sure to link all the supplies down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.